This video explains how to iterate a for loop over a certain range in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a very simple example. And in this example, I'm going to iterate over the range from 5 to 10. And for this, we first need to specify the range over we want to iterate, as you can see in line 2 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called myRange is appearing. And we can print this range to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object that contains the integers ranging from 5 to 10. Now let's assume that we want to iterate over these range values. Then we can apply a for loop, as you can see in lines 5 to 7 of the code. And in the head of the for loop, we have to specify that we want to iterate over our range object. And then within the body of the for loop, we can do basically whatever we want with the range values. In this case, I'm just going to print the sentence. This iteration represents range value i. So after running lines 5 to 7 of the code, you can see that our loop has iterated over our six range values. So the first iteration has returned the sentence, this iteration represents range value 5, and so on. Please note that for loops are often criticized for being slow compared to other ways of doing something. And for that reason, in case you are dealing with larger data sets, you might prefer to use a different approach than a for loop. However, in case you deal with a smaller data set, then the for loop that I have shown you in this example might be useful. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.